Hello summoners, this is Luna and we are back with another video of our series from A to Z. And today we'll be taking a look at the most prestigious and glamorous champion there is out there. That's right, today we'll be taking a look at Aurelian Song, the Star Forger. Lore. Once upon a time there was a celestial dragon named Aurelian Sol. The appearance of a comet in the night sky is often said to portend upheaval and unrest. Under the auspices of such fiery harbingers, new empires rise, old cultures fall, and even the stars themselves may vanish from the heavens. The truth is perhaps more unsettling. The Almighty being known as Aurelian Soul was already ancient before the rise of the mortal races of Runeterra. Born in the first breath of creation, he and those like him roamed the vast nothingness of a pristine celestial realm, seeking to fill this canvas of incalculable breadth with marvels whose twinkling spectra would bring fulfillment and delight to all who witnessed them. As he wandered, Aurelian's soul seldom encountered any equals. The eternal aspects were dispassionate and incurious things, contributing little to existence, content only to compose amusingly self-centered philosophies on the nature of creation. But then, bathed in the light of a fairly unremarkable sun he had crafted eons earlier, he discovered something, a world, new realms. He did not know who had created this world, or why, only that it had not been him. The aspects, who seemed unusually invested in it, implored him to come closer. There was life here, and magic, and fledgling civilizations that cried out for guidance from beings greater than themselves. Flattered by this new audience to his supreme majesty, Aurelian's soul descended to bask in their adulation in the form of a vast and terrible dragon from the stars. The tiny inhabitants of the insignificant land of Targon named him for the golden light of the sun he had gifted them, and the aspects commanded them to bring forth a suitable offering in return. The mortals climbed to the peak of their tallest mountain and presented him with a splendorous crown crafted with careful and cunning magic and etched with the inscrutable patterns of the celestial realm. From the moment it touched Aurelian's soul's brow, he knew this was no gift at all. The accursed thing clamped in place with unimaginable force, enough that even he could not remove it, and he could feel his knowledge of the sun and its creation being stolen and scrutinized by intelligences vastly inferior to his own. Worse still, the power of the crown hurled him back into the heavens and prevented him from getting any closer to that world again. Instead, he was forced to watch as the duplicitous aspects of Targon set the mortals to work in the construction of a great gleaming disk. With this, they channeled his celestial power to raise up immortal god warriors for some unknown conflict that was apparently still to come. Outraged, Aurelian's soul could see other stars fading across the firmament for lack of care and maintenance and he strained to break free of the crown's control. It was he who had burst their light into the universe. Why must he be shackled now by the aspects of their lowly haunts? He roared with glee when the sun disk failed, only to see a second, more powerful one take its place. Eventually, resigned to his fate, he saw the god warriors cast down their rivals, then chittering creatures of pure darkness, and eventually each other. Then, in little more than the blink of a star dragon's eye, the world was ravaged by a succession of sorcerous catastrophes and a 
Aurelian soul finally knew that Targon and the hated Aspids were all but defenseless. As he cautiously circled back, he realized the magic that bound him was weakening. Flax of gold began to fall from his crown, each one blazing across the skies like a comet. Driven by the tantalizing possibilities of freedom and revenge, Aurelian's soul now regards Runeterra with simmering eternal fury. Surely it is here, upon this world, that the cosmic balance will tip in his favor once more, and with it, the universe itself shall bear witness to the fate of those who dare steal the power of a star forger. History Aurelian's soul was released on the 24th of 2016 around MSI time. He was a new breed of champions to League of Legends. His kit was very strange and very difficult to understand. On top of that, he wasn't a champion that could hide at all, which made no sense to a lot of players. And to top that, he was immediately nerfed on patch 6.7, just two weeks after he was released. Aurelian was very confusing to a lot of players, especially on the pro scene. He was this terrifying CC dragon flying across the map that they didn't really understand how to deal with him. Fuhi, CLG's mid laner, at that time took no time to practice him and gradually fell in love with his kit. Let's see what he says about him. Well, when I first saw it, I thought it was really cool. You know, like it had this, its unique uh, style of playing because it was a mage champion, but it's really different because you have to value positioning a lot more because of its kit. It was also around the MSI time that it came out, so I was a little bit sad that I didn't have more time to practice it, but I still wanted to play a lot because it looked so cool. The first game of MSI, I knew that I was going to pick Relin Soul because back then the meta was mid lane Azir and one of my counter to Azir was Aurelian Soul. Top later and oh my god! That's Aurelian Soul! Game one of mid-season invitational and Aurelian Soul ah. has arrived! And no one actually played it. So I really, really, really wanted to show to the people that I am the first one who plays Aurelian Soul in a competitive. Look at the size of that! Oh my word! The center of the universe is who he! Ability. Aurelian Soul's passive. Center of the universe gives the custom dragon three orbiting stars that deal magic damage and apply spell effects to everything they hit. The stars orbit constantly and only disappear when he is hit by hard crowd control or dies. Also, Aurelian Soul is the worst at hiding. Even when he sneaks away into the brush, his stars will still be visible if they orbit outside of it. This last note isn't technically part of his passive. Aurelian Soul is a really long dragon, but his tail cannot be hit by skill shots. Aim for the body. We are going to wing it over to Aurelian Soul's W next. Because it directly affects his passive. Celestial Expansion is an ability which, when turned on, Aurelian Soul pushes his stars out to the outer limit dealing 50% increased damage and rotating at a high but decaying speed. Upon reactivating or after 3 seconds, the stars retract and grant him 40% bonus movement speed, decaying over 1.5 seconds. Celestial Expansion is a deadly level 1 ability. Toggle it on and maneuver your stars into your opponent to handily win early trades. Next up is Aurelian Soul's Q, Star Surge, which fires the core of a newborn star in a target direction. The star travels peacefully until either Aurelian Soul reactivates the ability or the star breaks past his outer limit. Then it goes boom, damaging and stunning all enemies close to the star's explosion. Here's the shiny stuff, though. If Aurelian Soul keeps pace with his star, and he'll get extra movement speed as long as it's in flight, he'll nurture it, growing its size as the two travel together. 
it won't do any more damage per target as Star Surge grows in size, but it will damage and stun in a bigger area. Use Star Surge to hold your lane opponent in place while your stars kill him. If you can keep pace with your Q, smart aiming will land the stun and let you sneak a couple of easy hits in. Aurelian Souls E, Comet of Legend. Cast Comet of Legend any time outside of combat. Goes on 5 second cooldown when taking damage. Letting the big guy fly. On activation, he pulls in his stars and flies in a target direction, passing over all terrain and walls in the way. While flying, he can actually see and be seen over walls. Finally, taking damage from enemy champions and turret, along with any action other than his Q, will drop him out of his flight. Take to the skies with Comet of Legend whenever you've got somewhere to be. Aside from ganking parts of the map, flying can get you over to lanes that desperately need clearing too. After all, you are a dragon. You probably should be hoarding gold. Aurelian Soul's ultimate is Voice of Light, which shoots out a long line of starfire in a target direction. The ability damages and slows all enemies it strikes, and knocks back nearby struck enemies to Aurelian Soul's outer limit. Use Voice of Light to buy yourself some space when you are face to face with a dangerous enemy. Once you've ulted, you'll be perfectly positioned to fire off a Q before showing off your awesome star power too. Combos His most OP combo would be Q1, R, W, Q2, A, 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 A. Matchups Aurelian is strong against Azir, Rumble, Eurelia, Lysandra, and Pantheon. But he is weak against Diana, Seraphine, Cassidin, Amy, and his. And with that, good luck on the rift playing the great one. Be sure to leave a comment on what do you think about Aurelian Soul and if we will ever see him being more of a popular pick or not. But for now, 